previously on What's Up Free Fire. Huh? What? What is this place? So new enhancements are in order. First up, a big one. Training Grounds Remake. This island is now bigger and better looking. A new full-sized racing track is being constructed, allowing you to experience the thrill of speed with your friends. Now all we are missing is a super fast car. The target range is also renewed to provide more visual feedback as you hone your skills. An eSports Hall of Fame will be built beside the social zone. Get up close and personal with your favorite team and professional players. Revel in their glories as you forge your own records in the game. You know, I kind of miss MoCo. Okay, okay. <laughs> but seriously, though, we are the dynamic duo, don't you think? Now you can form your own dynamic duo. The new partner system allows players to form closer ties with their best buds. As you game and socialize together, your buddy meter increases. More benefits will be added soon, but feel free to tell us what features you would like to see in the comments below. Players will also get a personal name badge, something like this, displayed in your profile page. Together with this addition is the Battle Tag. Earn it with your performance in each match. This is your badge of honor. You can also visit other players' profiles and look at their ranks, playstyles, and battle tags. Talking about buddies, a new revival mechanism will be introduced in Battle Royale. After completing a series of tasks, it is possible to bring a fallen teammate back into battle. But I must warn you, it is very challenging. You guys asked and we delivered. The developers have heard your desire for more weapon varieties in Clash Squad. Now, popular weapons will be arranged into multiple sets and rotated as you play more games. May more choices bring more victories for you. And before we go, here's a quick look at the weapon balancing adjustments in this new patch. That's all for our season two premiere. See you next time on What's Up Free Fire.